hello everyone this is your girl camille i want to say welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here today i want to do a mixing video for you i want to show you how i mix my paint with the pouring medium that i use of course i'll be using paints you know that's available and that's affordable to you all I'm, i'll be using these pastel colors i've never used them before all in a pour and i'm super excited just as i'm just going to be as surprised as you guys with the result because this, this is the first time i'm using it this is a pouring medium that i use it's the artist loft pouring medium and of course i want to show you that it's brand new i just want you guys to get a feel of it so you know what let me just use a new bottle to show you with the new paints and everything that's my measuring cup i just you know what guys i really wing it sometimes right but this is a five ounce cup and i show you the one ounce cup so i use it as a measurement if you guys don't have that you will see um you know get your cup that has like lines you can actually use the lines as a part of you know what your measurement that's just basic water that i was showing you and of course this is my star stick that I use to mix the paint. You can use whatever you have available to mix your paint. And here is the Black Artist Loft, my magic paint. This is the paint that does the trick, I guess. <laughs> I love it. I'm showing you the Flood Flow Chart, guys. I finally got it. I'm, you know what, they started to sell it here at our Lowe's in Canada, and I was super excited to, to get one and try. But for today's video, I am not gonna show you that i'm using the flow chart i didn't get to even use it yet guys i thought i was gonna have it um ready to um to use it in today's video but don't worry it's just gonna be super fun you'll see how i actually mix the paint and you're gonna you know what say you know what there's nothing to it you yourself can do it all right you've been asking me for so long okay camille show us how you mix your paint i really want to see how you mix your paint there's no secret to it that's one of the reasons why i've done videos where you know i just show you with paint and water i want you to get the understanding that it's all about the paint guys nothing that you add to it you know if you check out molly from molly artistry she do a lot of uh, paint and water videos. When I started watching her, that when she does her Dutch pours, it was all paint and water. But the different brands of paint that she used create beautiful cell reaction. Well, it's the same thing in um, what I'm doing my straight pour. Here I'm just opening the package and I want to just choose some specific colors. And like I said, guys, it's all pastel. And I've never used just all pastel in a pour. It's going to be a surprise you know for me as well and i have to tell you that you know what the end result is beautiful i'm not disappointed so you guys have to watch this video all the way to the end and if you do enjoy it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up all right and of course share this video with your friends and family if you do find it you know informative educational and whatever you know fun <laughs> just like and share guys and of course if you haven't subscribed as yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button super happy that you're here you guys know how much i love my deco art paint right so i these are all deco art americana paint and they're really amazing all right it's just important that you know what it's a brand new pack um so obviously i was just given the shake just to you know make sure that the color is mixed properly you know sometimes when you open the bottle you will see like there is just the separation of the pigment and that binder that they use in the paint so sometimes you just want to mix it up as you guys can see i love these paints because it has this amazing flow it's not as the, the two paint the two paints it's um thicker right and i i'm still experimenting guys and that's one of the reason why you know i'm I like to use these ones because I get a better result than when I use the two paints. Um, you know, there's just nothing to it. I mean, you guys will figure it out on your own. Um, you know, just use whatever is available to you. These are, you know, really crafters paint, but they're really amazing brand um, of paint here, the Americana brand, and I do love it. Amazing colors, and of course, I said it. These are pastel, so. There's gonna be a lot of white in these. Let's just see how it works out, right? Super excited. 
so i just showed you how i measured um the one ounce because that cup was a one ounce paint so i poured that purple which is actually lavender sorry <laughs> i poured the lavender first but then um, i'm using all the same size cups so for the other four paints i just eyeball it right just look at how you see so you don't have to go measure each cup right so once you do measure one and you see where there's a line on the cup or the, the height of the first color that you pour in the cup you just go ahead and follow so just follow along and um, I, I know the camera is not really showing you I'm not showing you from a side angle but I can tell you guys they are pretty much even across the board okay and it's okay guys it's okay if you know like when you're cooking I know you guys don't go measuring all the time right sometimes that's what makes the painting fun when sometimes if you're a bit off you know maybe the consistency for one of the color was a bit you know thicker or thinner or whatever it is sometimes that's what makes you learn you're like uh oh I think I should have mixed this up some more or maybe I should have added some more water to this or whatever it is maybe I, I, this paint was just a bit too thick sometimes that's what makes it fun but then you're learning as you go right same thing with me guys I am still learning I'm still experimenting I am and I'm happy I'm just happy with you know my experiences that's how you guys learn that's how I learn right look at these colors aren't they amazing they're beautiful so soft and just amazing right if you guys know me you know that I love my bright colors so me working with pastel colors you know I'm just you know testing the feels just seeing what the results gonna be and of course you know what just be as surprised as you my viewers who um, are just looking forward to see this mixing video that I had promised for so long <laughs> right so here I am just getting ready with the measuring cup again it's another one ounce cup and this is the artist love pouring medium i'm just going to open it here on camera to show you guys um you know i just give it a, a slight um shake there you don't want to shake it too hard because of course the air bubbles another thing i want to mention guys while i'm opening this bottle is that you know when you get those beautiful pearl cells when you freshly mix that paint it does has a lot to do with it so if you paint if you mix your paint and you let it sit for like two hours um, chances are you won't get that much of a cell because it's the cells do develop um, the sorry the yeah the pearl cells do develop when you when you touch right and sometimes it's those air bubbles that pushes the colors from underneath the other colors because you know some colors sink some rise it's all just fun chemistry right so I am just gonna use two parts of this pouring medium and one part of the paint so you know the one part is already the paint is already in the cup i'm just pouring the pouring medium on top some other people put the pouring medium first and then the colors personally guys i prefer to add my colors because i rather have more paint than the pouring medium and believe you me guys on this artist love uh, pouring medium bottle it says one part paint to five parts pouring medium guys this bottle of um, pour medium cost me almost $50 Canadian and yes that is very expensive you have to figure out how to use what works for you and how to make it work right you have to think to yourself okay do I really need that much pour medium to one part paint come on guys all right so I that's me okay if you want to use the five parts or whatever then go ahead it's okay it's still gonna work maybe the you know but for me i just want to have my colors more richer and stronger and more vibrant so that's one reason why i do it like that um yeah and because i don't really measure my paints as well i'm just showing you how you know that if, if you measure it out it should work and it will work if you do decide to measure it out usually guys i just pour my paint in the cup and then I slowly add the pour medium. I might add one part, then I might just mix it in. If I, because I don't um, like to mix too much colors. If you add five parts of this pour medium, obviously you're gonna have a whole lot of paint to do for your pour. I'm normally doing like an experiment, and I'm doing like smaller canvases right now to show you guys. 
so I don't need a whole lot of paint because mixing these in this five ounce cup I'm telling you right now I'm doing a lot of mixing it's a lot of colors and so I I really didn't want this much but for this just for tutorial reason just to show you the steps I'm doing I'm just going all in I'm just doing it all right just for you guys <laughs> all right so let's get mixing and of course this is gonna be a long video and I promise that I will speed up some of the mixing so I will definitely show you how I mix one and then I will just you know speed it up a bit all right because I really don't want you guys to get kind of like oh my gosh this is too long get just get to it right but this is what it is it's a mixing video and it will take a little bit of time and a little bit of patience on your side just to um you know watch and learn all right thank you so much Here I am, I am just going to pour the water into the same cup that I was pouring the pouring medium in, the measuring cup, that one ounce cup. I'm just adding some water in there. So, you know, I'm just going to add the water if I need it because these paints, they are already so, they are not that, as like the tube paint, you know, it's more like a paste. These um, Deco Art Americana paint, they're just amazing. And, um, you know, it doesn't take that much to get it to that consistency that you really want sometimes you don't need to even add any water here I am just mixing the violet and um, yeah I, I you know just give it good stir you guys can see it leaves a mount then it's disappearing so it's not a mount on a mount it leaves and it gives you that clean stream it's flowing off your popsicle stick really great so make sure when you're mixing guys you mix the sides mix the bottom you know um, scrape the, the popsicle stick if you have to and keep mixing right I didn't add any water to that one because I thought you know what it feels good it looks good and then sometimes you know it just takes practice I'll, I'll get back to that one maybe and then I'll add some water to it here I am just mixing that beautiful Bahamian okay Bah uh, Bahama blue and it's like a teal turquoise sort of like a color here and it's just beautiful right so I'm just mixing it and you guys can see you know it leaves a mount it's you have a feel of the paint when you're mixing it as well so guys you can feel that you know what it's a bit thick you can feel right so this one I, I thought to myself okay I'm just gonna add some water to it so here I'm just gonna pour a bit of water and um, just mix that slowly and I love using this brand of paint. It doesn't curds or anything. It just makes really smooth and I like it. Give it a try, you guys. And let me know in the comment section or, you know, come back to me. Find me on Facebook, Instagram and say, hey, come here. You know what? You're amazing. Thank you. <laughs> let me know if you've tried Artist Love Pour Medium. If you tried my Pour Medium, my recipe, whatever it is, and it works for you. Let me know guys, don't be afraid. And of course, you know what? If you try 10 times, that is a success because you know what you tried, all right? You're not gonna get it at the first try. If you do get it at the first try, thumbs up, really happy for you. But if you try 10 times guys and you're not getting it, don't give up, you, you tried, right? And you're gonna create beautiful art just the same. Okay, and this is just, um, you know, it's a process guys. And you just have to just take your time and just go through step by step and just enjoy the journey i am enjoying my journey here and i'm just happy that you guys are you know here with me and taking your time to really learn okay i am just gonna speed up the other two so that you guys don't really get dragged i really want to take you to the next step
okay so here we are now getting ready to mix the black um, artist loft which is a soft body paint and this soft body paint it's like the tube paint it has that same form of um, it's not as um, high flow or maybe I shouldn't really use the word high flow but it doesn't flow from the bond like a deco art Americano it doesn't have that smooth flow you have to really really mix this one okay and it will take a lot more um, water when I do add the pouring medium so I'll be doing two parts black artist loft soft body paint and two parts of the pouring medium I started using this five ounce cup that was a mistake and I'm so sorry because I was thinking uh oh I, I, I changed my mind last minute I was gonna just make it one uh, part paint and two parts pouring medium but then I said no I needed more because I will be doing two uh, experiments here. Another experiment, but I'll be doing two different painting, two different canvas for you guys. <laughs> so I, you know, changed my mind. You'll be seeing me scraping the black paint into another cup and of course adding a pour medium. So I've just get my cup ready. Yeah, my Tim Hortons cup. <laughs> Not getting paid for that. <laughs> So here I am just pouring the pouring medium straight into the, this uh, five ounce cup. Didn't use the one ounce cup to measure. Reason being is that the, uh, the paint, the black paint in the cup is already two ounces. And so I just measured, um, you know, pouring medium for this um, to the same height of the black paint in the cup, right? And of course, then I will be just transferring everything, the black paint, and then the pouring medium into the cup, mixing it. You're gonna see how I use a lot more water, um, you know, because this paint here does require a lot more water to get it to the same consistency, guys. And it, it, everything has to be within the same consistency. Um, you know, if the black paint is too thin, you're gonna find that's where you get a bit uh, more wonky, bigger cells. And that's fine too. Big cells are amazing. I do love them and I and I embrace them when I do get it. I don't scrape my canvas when I get big cells. I love it. I figure that it's, you know, it has something to do with if the, the black paint or the, the soft body paint, which is your base color. That's what I'm using as my base color is, you know, if you mix it too thin, right? Because the cells popping through, it's going to get, keep getting stretched along, you know, with that thin paint it's just a lot of that's just my feeling about it i you know what i'm not sure if anybody wants to correct me let me know i'm fine as well um you know here i am just mixing the black paint guys you know what i just want to mention i want to give a shout out to gina deluca she really inspired me she's the one who i learned uh the straight pour technique the way she does it with all of her spirals and it's beautiful and if you notice when uh, Gina does her paint she, and when she lists the colors or when she tells the colors that she's using, she's never used the soft body. She used a lot of the um, Liquitex Basic and she used Mars Black and you know. So you guys have to figure out what works for you. I just love this artist love soft body paint, okay? And it sticks with me because I use it when I'm doing my pearl cell technique. And I find the way how I mix my paint for the pearl cells, but if I'm doing the powder pour pearl cells, it's the same consistency, same thing. It's just that it works for me. I was amazed with the whole dirty cup, straight pour thing. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just give this a try using the same consistency. And each artist out there on YouTube, all of us guys, we like to be identified by the kind of work that we do. Like if I post my work, along with Gina's, along with Molly, along with Fiona, everybody should be able to say, okay, that's Fiona's, that's Molly's, that's Gina's, that's Rince Cardona, that's, you know what I mean? We all have that signature um, in our style of work. So, and it's the same thing with you. If you do exactly what I do, I promise you guys, it's going to be your own uniqueness. 
you're going to have a, your own twist to it. And that's what I want for every single one of you guys who've been watching me for the past, you know, year that I've been on YouTube. I'm really so appreciative, you know, so you guys just find your own style, you know, find what works for you and just have fun with it. And I'm really so happy to really um, share my experience, you know, and I know I've, I, I'm, I'm repeating a lot of the stuff that I say and also um, you know, people will, will, will say stuff in my comment, in the make comments in the comment section, and they will say, Come here, you know what? You repeat a lot of the stuff you say, or you just said that just like a minute ago, and you're repeating the same thing, or they will just make some, you know, all kind of odd comments. They will say, Oh, you know what? I don't like the music. Your art is beautiful, but your music sucks. Okay, do something about your music. But, guys, honestly, I cannot go about pleasing everybody. If you value my work and if you do like my work, if you do like um, what I do, you will look beyond the annoying music if you think it's annoying or scratchy. Um, there's a reason why I chose that music. I love my music, okay? YouTube do give you free music, whatever, and I do use it. But I just want you guys to find some value in this and that's all I want. You don't have to listen to me talking. You can mute it. <laughs> you don't have to listen to the music. You can turn it down. And so if you've noticed most of my videos recently, I just play music. I don't really say much. I listen to a lot of other artists. <clears throat> I love Fiona to death. I love that lady. And she will always say stuff like, I'm so sorry about the, the clock in the background. Oh, my clock is going off. Or she will say, I can't, I can't, I'm um, that word, that English word, because English is not our first language. And she will always say stuff like, you know, and then of course, Gina DeLuca will say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm rambling. Um, you know, the, the my friend from Australia there, but poor near Julie, she will say, I know I'm, I'm yapping guys and I'm rambling and I'm talking, talking, talking. So sorry. If we're all apologizing, guys, honestly, take the value, take whatever you can from each of us. You don't have to listen. You can just watch. And I know that I speak English too, but I, my pronunciation might be off because you know what? I'm Jamaican. <laughs> and you know, we, we have our native language. So sometimes when I say some English words, it might not sound the, the way that you know it. So you might be wondering, what did she just say? I know. So sometimes that's, a, that's very challenging for us. And I'm, we're all happy. I'm just happy that you guys are here. And I'm happy that I'm reaching the people that I'm getting to reach. And yeah. Right? So you watch me spread the base. So the same color, the same base that you see me put down, that soft body, um, Artist Love Paint, is going to be the first color I put in my cup. Right? And, um, and then that's just the steps. Right, guys? So just do it accordingly. And, you know there shouldn't be a problem okay here i am just starching and i just mix this paint all the paints i've just mixed so you know there's a lot of air bubble but for the base i just want to mix it because you know it's just important to kind of pop the air bubbles from the base color that you use um you know even though it will be in my cup so it doesn't matter if you see the black popping through it's just a habit that i have to always just torch the base color <laughs> it's just important if you can um, just pet this part up just moving the paint over um, just lining them up and then I'll be pouring all the colors into another five ounce cup starting off with the same black that's on the base on my canvas or just love black soft body paint next this color is called gentle heather beautiful color guys I'll be putting all the names of the paint in my description box below you can go ahead and check that out this blue is called Province Sky, beautiful blue. This other color is a green um, Jedit glass. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Beautiful minted looking green. Next, we're gonna have this amazing Bahama blue, beautiful turquoise looking blue. And of course, we have the lavender. I know I probably said violet earlier, but no, that's lavender. Beautiful color combination, guys and yeah you saw the cup all full and we're ready to go this size canvas is a 12 inch canvas and you know the, the spinning table that i'm using it's just a lazy susan it's a cake um turntable it's just amazing all right i got this years ago <laughs> at um 
one of those like a, a garage yard sale here in Canada so I've had it for a while and now you know it came in handy for my art wonderful so the cup you can see how the cells started popping through the black already and I know it's gonna create some magic so here we go guys I am pouring quickly but I'm spinning slowly all right sometimes the way you um, spin and sometimes the way you pour does help with the design and you know what whatever the end result is it's gonna be beautiful right so you guys just embrace that and just go with it you are your creator you're creating magic okay you're creating your own style you're creating your own unique art all right so just have fun with it just remember to have fun okay and guys remember I'm using pastel colors and I mentioned earlier that it's more white to it so you're gonna see why I said that um, so you're gonna see when when of course this pastel colors mixed with black you know you're gonna create some grays right but it will be beautiful I was just excited to try these colors and obviously I am not disappointed next we're gonna of course you know we're just waiting slowly and watching the cells popping through and then I'm gonna give it a slight torch uh, my turntable it's a bit wonky sometimes I should have shown you guys oh my god I didn't measure the cam I didn't um check the back check the canvas was leveled I should have done that I'm so sorry it's very important that you guys do that um, you know to check the if it's all leveled but I know that my turntable has a, a bit of an issue sometimes <laughs> So I'm, I'm always tipping it and I just know how to maneuver it to, to create and to keep my center if you know I see it going one side. So if you see me holding onto the turntable, table, I'm just slightly tipping it. That's my torch, it's a small lighter that I have. It's actually my second torch that I bought. The first one just, you know, fail on me. This is my second good one, knock on wood. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> it's just so handy and useful and uh yeah because a lot of people keep asking me what are you spraying especially when i post on instagram they ask me what are you spraying on your after you pour the colors and i have to keep explaining that i'm not spraying i'm really torching but i have to keep remembering that you know what these are new new people who has have never seen the fluid art maybe or have never seen acrylic pouring so guys you know that's why you have to you know what you've seen this so many times if you have when you hear me repeating stuff let me repeat because these people out there who's never seen it so they do want to hear so every time if i do a video and i repeat the same thing it's okay it's not for you it's for people who are just watching right <laughs> so there's you have to remember that there's always new people watching and um you know if you want to mute me or turn me down no problem turn on the volume but whoever wants to hear i was just starching okay Torching helps to pop the air bubbles and it also helps in cell formation. Okay, so just give it time. And of course, the more when I spin this, those small tiny cells will develop a little bit bigger and you know create the beautiful magic. I know you're not really seeing the colors because they're so soft, they're really pastel colors, but you will see the, the little beautiful shade of lavender and that mint green and the blue and you know they're gonna be popping through and the color that looks like pink oh beautiful and i just love how that mint green i had to call it mint green because it looked like mint green um i love how it's in the center giving that some sort of a light so all the colors um they play some really great significant role in here and i love it what do you guys see whenever i do a pour like this does it give you like a galaxy feel what is it I, you know does it give you like a sky night um you know view or is it like a watery view like some people say you know it looks like a whirlpool what do you guys see i am so um want to know what you guys have to say about this one you know leave your comment in the comment section i really want to know what you guys are thinking as you watch this unfold all right stay tuned guys for the close-up of the wet result don't go away
Alrighty, here it is, the close-up of the wet result. I love it. I love it. It's like you're looking in some sort of a tunnel, like it's just pulling you in. It's amazing. It's like a beautiful um, night sky. It's just amazing. I'm not sure what you guys are seeing, but I know for me the colors are amazing. And of course, that beautiful shade of mint green uh, it just gives some beautiful... Uh, brightness to this it helps to brighten the colors as well and you can see the lavender popping through the gray and like I mentioned before you're gonna get some gray because these are pastel with white paint in it and you know black does stand out though you know it's amazing and you can see the soft colors coming through here guys what did I tell you guys there's just nothing to it okay mix your paint right mix it to the right consistency use whatever paint you have use whatever pore medium guys use glue you have glue use your glue use what works for you i'm telling you guys just give it a try okay have faith in yourself that it will it will work you don't have to use the exact ingredients that i use right you don't have to use the artist love uh, pore medium you saw me with the flow troll. I just got it and I will do another mixing video using flow troll. So you guys have to stay tuned and come back and see how it works out. Okay. And of course you have to come back another time and see what I'm doing using the tube paint as well. All right. So here it is the dried result. I am super happy, super, super happy with the dried result. The colors are beautiful. Yes, they're soft. But check out that green in the middle check out that beautiful mint green check out that beautiful blue it's like a beautiful sky with the night life like it's just amazing like you're walking through this dark forest maybe or whatever it is that you're seeing but it's just beautiful and of course that lavender the highlights of lavender is just amazing and with that pinkish looking uh what do they call it gentle heather i love it <laughs> really love this one you guys absolutely amazing i do hope you guys enjoy today's video and of course if you do give this video a thumbs up don't forget to share this with your friends and family and i will see you guys next time of course you know i'll be doing you know another one with the flow troll and with some tube pins so guys do come back and check it out do check out my playlist and of course, check out my, my video with my paint and water only. You guys will be amazed. I'm just here to amaze you guys. And I'm so happy that you've watched this video all the way to the end. And I will see you next time on Camila Moy Art. Bye.